Hi there, Jamie Keith here. Hope everyone's having a great day and welcome to another edition of Teachers Tech. Today I want to take a look at Google Hangouts on Air. I want to show you two different ways to use this through YouTube uh, and show you how good of a, a way it is to broadcast your mes message out there to the entire world. So let's take a look at Google Hangouts on Air. <laughs> So I've done a video before on Google Hangouts, kind of showing the ins and out of that. This one I'm focusing on Google Hangouts on air to broadcast live to the world or as little of an audience as you want. Uh, with the video calls here, when you start a video call, you can get your 10 people in, you can share screens. Uh, one of the differences is so if someone leaves uh, with a video call or here or there's too many, the only way you can get in is if somebody, uh, if somebody leaves, then you can join in. And then afterwards, uh, the nice thing with Google Hangouts on air, it records it too. So it's right on your YouTube channel you can edit it uh, with your YouTube video editor um, afterwards too uh, so there's a, a few more options uh, what I like in that Google Hangouts on air so to get to Google Hangouts on air where I'm going to go is up to the left uh, corner here and you can see down here it's Hangouts on air so I'm going to click Hangouts on air and it's going to bring me to um, this Hangouts on air page this is where I create create it from I'm just going to close down this chat here uh, so you can see it gives you a little bit of information about broadcasting to YouTube, uh, stream it through. So you could have your audience, if you have it set to public, you could be uh, has half a big as audience as you want. And then you have participants. You still have your 10 participants inside of it that you could be conversing with, you could be chatting with, uh, that's kind of uh, putting on the show as, as it would be. You can see that there's different ones down here. As I scroll down here, there's different people broadcasting uh, through here right now, which I could... Uh, if I watched it, I could say or join in too. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create one here very easily. So I'm just going to click on this button right here. So I'm going to give this a name. I'm just going to call this, uh, well, I'll just say, what should I call this? Actually, I'll just call this uh, test. Uh, let's call it test hangout. Okay. So, and I'll just call it uh, test in here. Now I have a choice uh, whether or not I want to do it now or later. When you have these options, you can change these options. So if you have thought of a specific time that you might want to broadcast uh, and then you're like, oh no, I, I can't do it at that time. You can change these. Don't worry about that. Uh, just because you picked a time, you can go ahead and change it. So for my purposes, I'm just going to pick now here. Uh, so with the uh, with this one, you can see right now it's going to share uh, with anybody inside a, super, super, a certain group that I have in my Google Plus account and or public here. So this would actually broadcast out uh, to everyone right now. So I'm, I don't want to broadcast out to everybody. I'm just going to uh, actually delete these here but if I hit share you notice it's forcing me to actually pick someone I have to pick someone and if you're thinking oh I don't want to you know broadcast it out live uh, one thing you can do is actually you can actually put uh, your own name in so I'm just going to put uh, uh, my my own email address in there so it's it's going to just connect with me it's not being shared with anybody it would be unlisted uh, the one thing with unlisted if you did share it with somebody else and they got the link they could give that link to somebody else and then they could share it or embed it and uh, so it could grow uh, from there but in my case right here I know I'm going to be the only one with the link so I'm just going to hit share right now it only takes a second uh, to start up the event page right here. So with the event page uh, that I have, uh, so you can see where the video, uh, this is kind of where it's going to be before it starts. If someone came to my Google Plus in this one, they could uh, view the events page uh, through here. Right now I have it private, so no one's going to be able to, or sorry, just shared with me. Uh, so no one will have that information. But you can see right away, I could start this right away. But there's a few things I want to show you before I start it. Uh, up top, I could edit the event up here, but I'm not going to go back and edit it. It was fine the way I set it up here. But I am going to go to the trailer. So if you have your event sitting there, uh, you might not just want this blurry picture in the background. Maybe you want to put a video trailer or uh, an image uh, here. So I'm just going to go to a photo that I have and just pick this one. I'll leave it at that one. And you can see how I could adjust the kind of the cropping area of it. And I'm just going to hit select. And then if people were coming back and seeing this, uh, rather than this blurry picture, they're going to see this. So you can change kind of like a thumbnail before it, before it starts when it's sitting there. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can make it look a little bit more attractive. 
as I work my way, you could also delete it too. As I work my way to the right, you can see there's a Q&A. It's already enabled here. If I click it again, it would turn it off. Uh, this is a good feature. So you could leave that Q&A on and what people can do when they come to it by clicking up here, they could actually ask questions even prior to the event starting. So you could be ready with questions already, which would, you know, I think would help with that engagement factor. Over here, uh, we have our, our showcase. So if you want to share files within your uh, within your Google Hangouts on Air, you can do that. So if you have a web link and you just want to push it out to uh, the audience very, very easily to do it, doesn't interrupt anything um, inside of it. We have our applause uh, here. So the feedback from the audience can give you a little bit of uh, notice how they think you're doing if they're really uh, liking something there. So those are the kind of the main apps that they have here. Inside, uh, when we start, uh, there's going to be a few more apps that you can add uh, from drawing or toolbox ones that you can do and I'll show you that when we get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. When I hit the start it doesn't automatically start the live broadcast here. So when I start what's going to happen here um, I'm going to get prompted uh, with another question invite my guests and so I've only shared it with myself but what I'm going to do is I have a different computer to my right hand side here and I'm just going to um, uh, type in my address here. And I can't remember if I just said this, remember to do this, uh, you have to have a Google Plus and YouTube account to go on Google Hangouts on air. Uh, so if I repeated myself, I'm sorry, but it was on my mind and I can't remember if I said that or not. Uh, so you can also make this uh, require guests to be 18 uh, to join here. Uh, it doesn't matter for me right now, I'm the only one, but you have that option here. So I'm gonna invite, so I'll have, actually when I do this, my phone's gonna ring uh, to indicate that I'm getting invited here uh, because this email's on on my phone also and uh, there I just have to answer this real quickly here so it doesn't keep ringing all right so uh, you can see I haven't started broadcasting I'm just kind of doing the the setup here I'm just I'm on a different computer here so there might be a little feedback as I turn on something here so I'm just gonna click on it and uh, I'm gonna accept on this other computer here Oops, all right, so there it goes, except I'm gonna answer. So it'll take me a second here to join up here. Just going through the clicks. And if I hit join, and I'm gonna actually real quickly, I'm gonna to go to the control room and mute. So I knew there was gonna be a little bit of feedback there. So what I did was, uh, this is a handy option here as people join. So these are the people, remember we can have 10 people in here sharing audio and video. Uh, if I go to the control room, I have uh, some different features down here where I can shut off their mic. So I did shut off the mic on that one just so I wasn't gonna get any feedback. And you can, I can even turn off the video uh, and then it just goes to the thumbnail. I'm just gonna leave that video on for right now. I can adjust the volume through here. So it's a handy feature uh, to have. Uh, so uh, the other thing that you could do uh, prior to people even entering, if I click on cameraman right here, uh, you can see there's some options right here. So as guests join, hide their audio and video from my broadcast. So you can do these, uh, answer these questions, how you'd like to set it up. I kind of just go with the control room and kind of click as I, as I need it on it too. So you can see here I am down at the bottom if I turn my head, uh, I turn my head, you can see uh, how it's uh, being connected here. Uh, the things you can do, if you click this little arrow right here, you can see uh, the different uh, things I can hide from uh, broadcast, I can present to everyone. So if I wanted to put that on the main uh, screen, I could present to everyone on that one, the profile, or eject. So maybe you don't want the person in there anymore, you can eject the person. I'm gonna eject this person uh, here because for my purposes, um, I don't really need to be there anymore. So I'm just gonna hit eject. Oh, make sure I hit eject here and eject so you and then the person is ejected out of there so uh, that's uh, how you get people in so remember inside that uh, this top one right here this chat so I, if I was in there, so this is during the for the people that are the participants in it. So you can have up this ten. You can have this little chat uh, group on the side there. So and then they could be sending messages back and forth between each other uh, to communicate without directly talking with each other. We have our screen share. So I've done a different video on screen sharing before about how to use uh, YouTube as a device to screencast for free. You could do the exact same thing in this one if you wanted to kind of show a lesson. 
uh, then you pick your w what window you want or if it's the background in it you can see like I have Photoshop open in the background uh, I have screen flow so if I was going to show something that I could just pick which one I want and it's going to show that screen so I'm just going to hit cancel right now because I'm just uh, going to keep going down and showing you the different apps that we have here the showcase app is what I mentioned before you just type the URL up here and uh, you can push it out to different people like so then if I had a website if I wanted my teachers tech website I could just type it in there and then the URL would be pushed route uh, right to them very directly without doing any interruption um, of the cast we have our Q&A this is where the questions and answers so this is from the audience that I could be uh, fielding questions uh, again increasing the engagement seeing what they're thinking uh, you can follow it it doesn't you know you can follow it. it's right on the right hand side here so your eye contact and it's easy to maintain uh, for, again for that en engagement I already showed you the cameraman and the control room and uh, at this point you can add apps at this time I still haven't I haven't broadcast anything yet you can see the green right down here it says start broadcast so I would do be doing this job this all these things is just a setup prior and so I can add apps so if you look at the different apps uh, one of the apps I like is this hangout toolbox because what you can do is put a kind of a banner at the bottom of the picture so maybe I wanted to be like teachers tech or Jamie Keat and then uh, it would look professional and would just be kind of a, a nice little banner at the bottom uh, not in the way of any Anything. so and there's some drawing apps that you can add uh, to add different things so if you're interested I haven't played around with all of these ones yet but there's some interesting app, apps again for engagement factor um, and just enjoyment factor too so I'm just gonna hit cancel I'm not gonna add them right here so that kind of goes over the different apps features up top you can see I can invite people from here I can mute the microphone turn camera off I can adjust my bandwidth I have settings so maybe there was a uh, different camera I wanted to use I actually have two cameras set up uh, right now uh, and the FaceTime camera is recording but I'm being recorded uh, with a different one uh, for screen flow but I can change the options right in there and at the end what I would do is hang up after I stop my broadcast and then it would end the broadcast and then I gonna and then I can check it on YouTube so let's go ahead and start this broadcast and remember this isn't a public broadcast I'm just gonna hit start broadcast here so it says you're about to uh, to broadcast live on Google Plus and YouTube. So it would go right through there. You can broadcast up to eight hours. So uh, you'll have up to eight hours. You can broadcast, and then it will be in your YouTube account. It takes some time to process, depending on how long it is. And then you can go through and edit this after. So I'm just going to hit OK here. And it's starting. And it's about to go now. I'm broadcasting here and so I'm not going to do this for very long just to, so I can show you as an example you can see the live just came up here and then so if I was if I did have it public it would be streaming to my Google YouTube I could have sent out information through Twitter and Google Plus hey I'm about to go live so if you want more viewers this is how you would do it uh, so I'm gonna stop my broadcast right now and uh, so that kind of shows all the different things uh, what I could do within the, this broadcast uh, you can see it says off air here and I'm just gonna go to uh, leave call so I'm gonna hang this up right here and you can see a uh, recording the broadcast will now be uploaded to your YouTube channel and you'll automatically replace live video players uh, that were shared so please allow a few minutes and uh, this one won't take very long probably within a minute or two minutes but I'm gonna uh, kind of uh, flip over to my YouTube channel to show you uh, where it is right now so I'm just gonna uh, go over to here and you can see right under channel oops, sorry live streaming here I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go to events uh, first of all, before I show you the video, uh, you can see this. I never created this in here. This was uh, purely created uh, inside when I did that first initial step. So this was blank, and when I did uh, create it, it created a an event inside my uh, YouTube account. That was that's how it connects. So if I go to my video manager, I'm not going to go to my dashboard. If I go to my dashboard, it won't be there because in my dashboard, it's only the the public stuff that goes there. But if I show you my video manager. Uh, in my video manager you're gonna see uh, this video that's processing so with this uh, you can see it's still processing and a zero view it's unlisted and as I mentioned versus locked versus unlisted I could change this to private where it would show the lock one on it right now um, I'm just gonna go ahead, ahead and hit edit over here uh, you can see it's not uh, it's still processing because it takes a few minutes uh, here if I wanted to do some things but this it becomes just a normal uh, video now what I can do all the different things so I'm gonna come back to actually this one uh, in a few moments here but I'm gonna show you a different way and it's the way I've showed uh, in creating a screencast here I'm just gonna go to uh, 
live streaming. So this is another way you can use uh, Google Hangouts on air here. So I've had this first one, but I'm going to go and do a new live event. So if I go new live event and then I hit, uh, oops, excuse me here. If I go uh, to here to quick um, uh, here, I, this is using Google Hangouts on air. So again, I have this public, private. I'm going to do private this time. Actually, I'll do unlisted again. And uh, this time I'll uh, give it a title. I'll just say test. Again, all the same things. I'm going to leave it as now. And if I hit go live, and it says it's ready to go. And again, my Google Hangouts opens here. And you can see the options come up. It's a little different. If you look down the left-hand side, I don't have uh, the questions in the showcase one on this one, but I'm still broadcasting live. I can add my apps. I have the control room. If you've used the uh, control room, uh, th this uh, option right here, when you're inside just your Google Hangouts without on air, you notice it won't say you can use this uh, only if you're a moderator of some calls on it. So, uh, but in this case, I do have the control options, but there's a few different ones. Uh, so oh, I can hit my start broadcast here so again I'm just gonna do a quick five to ten second one and start broadcasting it's about to go on air live and it's starting and as soon as it says uh, so you can see the hangouts is on air live right now so I'm just gonna end this right away and it's gonna be inside my videos again inside my video list here I'm gonna hit stop broadcast and I'm just gonna hang up here and the recording is going to YouTube again and you can see I have two different things uh, that have happened here. Uh, it tells me the times and everything on it. So I'm just going to go uh, to my video manager because you're not going to see it inside my dashboard because that's only the, the public ones that I have. So you can see right now, uh, this was my first one. It's done processing. This one is still processing. So if I wanted to go to edit now, I could do different things uh, to it. So I can add my annotations, I have my cards, I could go maybe write a better description, add tags, add to playlist, just like a regular YouTube video. <clears throat> so the other thing you can do, uh, what I was mentioning before is editing. So maybe you wanted to clean it up right inside YouTube and I have a different video on how to use the YouTube video uh, editor and I'll put the link uh, to this too. But if I hit create uh, here and you go to the video editor, so all the ones you've uploaded will be there. You can see, whoops, let me just, that was an old one I was playing with. Uh, this uh, Hangouts one that I have, uh, let me, whoops, I'll just go back to that again. I just clicked on the wrong button here. So you can add uh, this to your list here. So I could drag this down into my video editor. And if you want to know how to use the video editor, uh, take a look at the link very easy to use it's all free and you can kind of splice it and add if you wanted to add some music you can do that too or you could download this video and use your own video editor too so it's your choice what you use so i'm just going to go back um, back again here uh, to my channel and oops so yeah just to my video uh, manager here and then you can see I have uh, this one is still processing and this one is all done. I got my one view because I just clicked on it here. You can delete these videos after. So I'm just going to go through, through uh, and show you a few different options. You could download that as an MP4, uh, but I'm going to just delete it because I don't need these here. Yes, delete. And this is processing, but I'm just going to delete it right now because I'm. Uh, these are just examples anyway here. So yes, delete. So that's kind of my walkthrough of using Google Hangouts on air. So if you want to broadcast live to everybody or, uh, your, or whoever you want, uh, I really like the option that you can uh, have this in your recordings after to edit and to put up there and change and modify a little bit if you need to or add a few different things to it. Uh, I hope you like this. If you have, please give it a thumbs up or share it with a few people. And remember, I do weekly tech tips and you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.